Hello and welcome to the Baxi Training Centre here in Warwick. My name's Rob and we're back for another Training Tuesday. Today I'd like to talk to you about a little problem that we know as let by. If your customer has a combi boiler similar to this one, they may call you out and say they're having issues with the hot water. They may describe such things like their hot water isn't as good as it used to be or when they've taken a bath or a shower they've noticed that some of the radiators are starting to get hot. So before you take the cover off the boiler, if you open up a hot tap in the bath to avoid any overspill, remove your glove and grab hold of the flow pipe underneath the boiler. Now providing the heating hasn't been on recently, you shouldn't feel any temperature rise on that pipe. If you do, then you confirm that either the diverter valve is passing or you may have an issue with the plate heat exchanger. Simply isolate the valve to the central heating flow and open up a hot tap in the bath. With the flow isolated to the boiler, if the hot water temperature increases and the boiler remains lit, then you've confirmed that the plate heat exchanger is clear, but the diverter valve is at fault as it's passing or letting by. If, on the other hand, the lights on the front of the boiler increase very quickly, then you've confirmed that that primary system water can't get through the plate heat exchanger quick enough and the boiler is shutting down on temperature. Therefore, the plate heat exchanger is either blocked or restricted. Change the plate heat exchanger and away you go. So now with the flow isolated to the boiler, if you open up a hot tap in the bath and the boiler remains on and the temperature of the hot water increases, then you've confirmed that the primary system water can travel freely through the plate. Therefore, you must have an issue with the diverter valve. Replace the diverter valve and away you go. If on the other hand, the temperature on the front of the boiler increases rapidly and the boiler starts shutting off and making a bumping and a banging sound, you've confirmed that the primary system water cannot travel freely through the plate. Therefore, you may have a blockage or a restriction. Replace the plate heat exchanger and away you go. 